Hey everyone, um, I got some video footage when one of our gilts was farrowing and it wasn't going real great and I just thought I would do some uh, video clips to talk about how to deal with a sow or a gilt who is having difficulty during labor. And so the clips are very messy and yucky. I apologize, they're kind of blurry, it's sort of dark, um, but I thought it was a good opportunity to show you some of the ways that I manage things. For instance, I have what I call my eye in the sty, and it is a video camera down in the barn that comes up to a monitor in my bedroom so that I can keep an eye on my gilts and my sows when they're in labor. Also, um, I talk about stillborns and what I call soggy pigs, uh, about how to manage dystocia, how to deal with pigs who are stuck in the birth canal, um, I talk about mummies and show you some uh, video clips of mummies, which are fairly gross. So if that's going to make you, you know, you should probably not look at that part. And then I lastly discuss how to deal with aggravated or aggressive sows that are not happy about the whole situation of giving birth. So hopefully these videos give you some ideas on how to manage your piggery. Let me know if you have any questions in the, in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those. So when you have a stillborn piggy, um, and you think, is this thing, is this piggy viable? Can I save it? Is it even worth saving? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick it up by the back legs like this and swing it pretty hard. So if I were gonna swing this piggy, this piggy's a stillborn pig, um, it was on, we were not able to save it. However, we, we try by, I hold it by the hips like this, I support its head like this, and then, and they're kinda slimy. And then I go, really hard, as hard as you can without dropping it or throwing it. You know, they'll slip out of your hand, so I make sure you have a really good grip on it. By doing that, I'm basically clearing its airway. Then I'll rub like that and make sure that it's nice and cleared off, and I'll do it a couple more times. I'm not expecting to save this pig. It's already been dead for a while. But, um, so, if it's not responding, I'll, then I'll stop and I'll check, and I'll sit real still. I'll sit real still, and I'll check for uh, a pulse right here and when they're born if their heart's still beating this little umbilical thing cord will bump like that if it's doing that I know its heart's racing and it's trying to move oxygen around and at that point I'll get a paper towel I'll clear the whole muzzle off here and then if you just this is kind of gross but you can put your mouth in, around this entire um, muzzle and just puff air into there puh Huh. Just tiny little breasts because they're they have little tiny lungs. So just a little puff and then you can squeeze it out Puh squeeze it out. Puh. You can do that several times and then See how the pig's doing see if the umbilical cord's still going and then continue doing that And we've actually managed to save quite a few piglets over the years um, just by you know putting the effort in and um, Continuing with uh, mouth to mouth basically and we've actually got them to come back and they always seem to do really well when they do when they are able to be safe Okay, so normal normal presentation for a baby pig during birth is either back legs first or face first It doesn't matter. This, this is not considered a breech birth just when the back legs come out. That's not considered a problem um, And when you are going to pull a piglet say you've got one in there that's kind of stuck or isn't coming out fast enough There's several places that you can grab. I'm gonna be using this stillborn piglet to uh, demonstrate so if the piggy's coming out this direction and it's stuck, one thing you can do is get your finger in there and loop around the hawk here and kind of get it stuck in your hand there so you can pull. You might have to straighten your hand out because of the, um, the pelvic arch. You might have to make it a little more this shape versus this shape. Um, you can pull the tail if the legs are like this. You can actually get a hold of the tail and pull, but just be careful because it will pull the skin off if you're not too you know, careful. You can grab up into the pelvis like this and grab this way and pull. If the piggy's presenting head first, um, you can go up to the face like this and put your fingers behind the ears here and kind of grab it like this. You can grab it from under here like that and pull this way. You can also, there's these teeth in here that are super duper sharp. I don't know if you can see them there, but you can actually reach inside and grab it kind of like this or like that and a good one also is to grab the jaw like this so you can get the actually under the tongue and pull the jaw and flatten your hand out flat to pull the piggy out this way when furring out a pig um, it's not uncommon to have what's called mummified pigs or mummy pigs and so this is kind of gross if this is gonna bother you, you should definitely look away from the video for just a second so what you get is 
It can be anything from just like a little sack of gummy stuff, black kind of blackish brown gummy stuff, like that, and like that one, to a tiny little bag with basically bones. There's actually some substance to it. Um, to what actually looks kind of like a little skeletal pig, and then to something like that, that you can see all the bits and pieces that are there. Everything's all soft and, and bendy, and it's already um, been resorbing, and you, you know, see all the tissue, the meat's gone, the eye's gone. Um, but anyway, this is fairly common, and chances are the way this little gilt here, um, the way this little gilt here has all these different stages of mummification in her pigs, I'm guessing that um, she caught some bacterial, you know, some bacterial disease inside one part of her uterus, and it was working its way down the um, birth or the horn of the uterus there, and killing them off as she went. Because we also had two stillborn piggies that were um, kind of almost okay at birth, but just didn't make it through the birthing process. So. Another important thing to have set up um, off the side would be a container to put the babies in with a heat lamp over it just in case the sow is really antsy and getting up and down, up and down, or she's a new sow and doesn't know what babies are and thinks that maybe they're being aggressive or violent to her, you can get them out of the way and let her go ahead and deliver several babies. Once they usually deliver, I don't know, four to six babies, usually they settle down and you can put the baby pigs back in with them. But it's nice to have just a nice little safe pen where the babies can start to dry, stay warm, and wait for mom to settle down. If you do have a sow who is um, anxious about giving birth, you know, usually gilts maybe will be like, you know, unsure of what those little things are. Um, one thing that you can do is you can actually, this sounds kind of weird, but you can give her a couple beers and that will actually help to settle her down and calm her down just a little bit. Um, uh, generally pigs like beer, it seems like. So the another thing you can do is um, go ahead and just start rubbing her underline gently you know and there's a good chance she'll go ahead and lay down and kind of lay over on her side um, when i'm giving uh oxytocin shot or something to get us out to progress a little faster um, i will oftentimes rub the underline at the same time that i'm injecting the needle into her her thigh so that she doesn't really notice it it works really well um, you want to try to not let the piggies scream if you're going to move them around or you know transfer them from one place to another or keep them in a, in a safe pen such as this you are going to want them not to be screaming as much as possible because screaming piglets are um, they create a lot of anxiety in the sows because they you know protective behavior and whatnot so it's best to either hold them up underneath the sternum and just kind of lift them out without grabbing around them just kind of like elevate them by their sternum or if you get them by the back legs and kind of just gently just kind of lift them up off the ground they don't know what's happening and they'll usually stay quiet you don't want to grab them around the belly or the waist or the ribs because almost inevitably you'll make them scream which will upset the sow well i hope you found this video helpful and maybe give you some ideas on how to save piglets by taking care of upset sows or clearing airways and doing cpr or just putting them in a safe place until mama's ready to, to accept them if you have questions down in the comments, please leave them and definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.